I'm right here in Chatsworth at the intersection of Old Santa Susana Pass Road, or actually Santa Susana Pass Road, and Topanga Canyon. You can see the cars going past barely, but they're leading up this way, up the hill to the 118 freeway. But if you're at this intersection here, you can come down this path right here at Stony Point, and it'll take you over to this rock. And in this rock, there is a dedication plaque that was placed here on September the 12th, 2009, which was exactly one year after the date of a train crash that occurred on September the 12th, 2008 on the railroad tracks very close to this location. In fact, I'll walk over this way a little bit. And there you can actually see the area of the train tracks there. And just around that bend, going in the easterly direction, was right where the train wreck occurred. Hello, I'm Brad. Welcome to my channel. So I'm here at the site of the train crash that occurred on September the 12th, 2008. And it's right at this location here. That's where it occurred. Back on that fateful Friday at 4.42 in the afternoon. By the way, I can hear a train coming now on the track. I can hear its horn. Should be here in a couple of minutes. It'll be kind of an interesting thing to see. But this train wreck occurred between two different trains traveling eastbound or from left to right was a Union Pacific train consisting of two engines pulling 17 cars and coming in the opposite direction going from right to left was a Metrolink train consisting of one engine and three bi-level cars that uh, carried uh, passengers. So we'll walk down here a little bit, get an even better vantage point. I think you can hear the train now. So this should take not long at all. And we'll see what's uh, coming in this direction. Okay, here it, here it comes.
that was a long train. I counted 89 cars being pulled by two engines. <laughs> the, uh, that train lasted a long time. Here's an illustration of how the train wreck occurred. You can see that traveling from this direction, traveling basically east, is the Union Pacific train, and traveling west is the Metrolink train. The Metrolink train was supposed to come down the tracks and stop before it entered or went past this intersection right here. It had a red light and it was supposed to stop before it proceeded past the CP Topanga intersection right here. But what occurred on that day was the engineer of the Metrolink train was texting and he did not see the indications and the lights telling him not to proceed past this intersection. Had the Metrolink train stopped in this section of double track right here, then the Union Pacific freight train could have come down here, gone through these three tunnels, gone around this bend right here, which is where the accident occurred, and then it would have been traveling in this direction south, and it could have veered off to its right and gone down into this double section of track. Once it was into this double section of track, then the Metrolink train would have been given a green light right here, and it could have proceeded onto this single lane of track, gone under the Topanga Canyon Tunnel, through these two additional tunnels, and on the way to Simi Valley. There is the section of track looking from almost the top of Stony Point Peak. Uh, right in front of this rock right here, that's about where the train track accident occurred, right in this section of track. The tunnel is over, right over in this area. It's not visible. There's Topanga Canyon. The train track tunnel is right about here. And then, of course, there's the train track, which you can see. We go over to this section. And right above this boulder, right in front of me, right about there is where the trains met in a head-on collision that fateful Friday afternoon at 4.42 p.m.